Okay, we're going to um, just talk very quickly about this profile in feature 602, where we can see the um, very nice and very interesting information on what's going on in the history of this house, and especially the platforms in the north northeast corner. So um, you can see here the the most the um, the latest configuration of the meeting of these two platforms whose names I can't remember this one here and this one here and originally they met this is 170 this is 173 is it? Uh, 173 170 and um, in their most in their latest configuration um, the meeting place is here but we can see that earlier on the meeting place was here and you can see the platform 170 its lip originally went up to here and then 173 started here and then later on um, 173 was moved south with the big packing here and then with a, a major floor level a floor surface going across here and we can follow this floor surface and we're now going to start work on that cleaning down to that all across here right across to here where we begin to lose it in some kind of a um, some kind of something happened here some kind of disturbance or animal fill or crack or whatever um, the other thing I wanted to point out was this very interesting layer underneath um, underneath the main platforms <coughs> uh, presumably before this platform at least was made is this um, layer of burned earth and it originally was in this particular area and around the post in fact so it's possible that there was some kind of burning going on here is very thick red layer just there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to point out, if you can come over here, Mira, look at it from this direction. This layer here. Can you see that? Yeah. The other thing that we'll see when we look inside the burial pit is this layer here of two um, two layers of plaster bordering two l oh look at this <laughs> two layers of pl plaster one here and one here bordering a kind of reddish brown earth and this layer we can see going all of, um, very clearly here and then um, a similar one but thicker over over here possibly some kind of foundational layer on top of this black midden which presumably is filling the house below. Okay. Do we have anything else? Do we, well, can we see whether this platform 170 is in fact earlier than this one, starting no. earlier? Well, all I wanted to add is that, that basically we are talking about two phases, major phases of these platforms and this is the earlier phase here I'll hold, hold this this is going to last forever <laughs> okay so we are talking about two different phases an earlier phase in which these platforms were a uh, different size and were meeting in a different way and then we are talking about a later phase which is the phase that we are standing on now in which uh, platform 173 was much larger when uh, its edges over here and in the previous phase its edge was over here and the meeting point between the two 173 and 170 was very similar to the meeting point of 173 and 162 now uh, okay enough ready yeah. this this is which this is feature 167, and the platform that had uh, many faces, but Hot. was during the uh, use of the house, but also after uh, the house ceased to be used for living. And uh, what we 
finally discovered is how many floors the platform had originally. The highest floor was all the way up here, and we have just a bit of it. The next floor was at this level. We can see the plastered floor here with white plaster. There is yet another floor under it, and only then is the floor uh, that we are standing on now, on top of which was one thin layer of uh, nice slip, uh, which we thought uh, until now was the um, latest floor. So the, the floors after that we can see and we will be seeing and cleaning uh, later. Also, the edge of the platform was coming out of the south wall, like this, like my hand, and going probably uh, like this, here, and then turning around and going this way, and then it had a step, and I'm standing on a lower part, half of the same platform. So, um, so that's that, and so you have to go around here, Ruth, and film surface, the edge. And the the outside surface coming out of the wall uh -huh. went like that, and there are several several uh, floors in here, but we cannot yet speak how many. But then we have here the other edge of the platform went like that, so we had something a lip-like edge going around the platform, and there is one side and there is the other side, and several floors. Uh, another thing is that there is a big animal hole in here. We had in this whole area a lot of animal holes because of the midden being created there. And, uh, but this is a very big animal hole and most likely filled with the soil and deposits that are coming, that the, the animals were bringing from the Space 89. And in this animal hole yesterday we have found a very nice miniature figurine. Okay. Uh, this is space 158, the north east corner, and the problem that we had all along in this space is uh, how many floors there are and what happened on this floor and what seems to um, transpire at the moment is that we have several floors here. One is, th this would be the earliest one that we can see at the moment. This is a damage of the floor in the middle of this space. But this would be the earlier one. Then we have packing, another floor. Then we have uh, something like packing on top of that floor. However, instead of thinking that this is packing, I think that this is the remains of the bins in this area. And the el there are other elements for it. Uh, here is one bridge. Here is the remains of another ridge, and uh, the the ho the surface of this wall, of the east wall, was completely covered. The plasters were covered with this brownish, orangish clay material with a lot of uh, organic or vegetal elements in it, which is uh, typical for bins as well. So I believe that this whole area was turned into a bin area at some point, and. Um, contemporary or maybe even earlier or rather later than the feature 171 because now you have to come down you have to you the the problem is that feature 171 was built on somewhere on this floor roughly of space 158 and was built on top of this little wall, which is feature one, uh, 168, I think. And, uh, but it went on to this side. It, it had another recipient-like or bin-like element on this side. And we can see that uh, in this part. However, um, this portion of the west wall was built on top of it at some point. So at some point, this portion of the west wall had to be either shored as well, as well as the other portion, which is the southern portion of this wall, or uh, it slipped out of its place, some of the bricks. I don't know what happened, but at some point, it uh, 
the bricks were of the wall were built on top of 171. And then after that, uh, in this area, the floor was plastered and the bins were built on that floor. So we have then the bins as the earlier, as the later feature and 171 as the earlier feature. And in, in between those two uh, phases basically is uh, the bricks of the west wall that were uh, built in. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so we're looking at the southwest corner of building three in space 158, and we are looking at the back of the niche, feature 607, and at the cross section of the west wall, and this is the later phase of the west wall. The original west wall uh, was going something like, we don't know exactly how it went here, but it was in this line continuing towards the north. And once it was destroyed, uh, the new uh, west wall uh, was assembled here in the front of it. And then the niche was built into the new west wall. And the reason we are, you have to come this way, and the reason we are looking at this is that we can here see how nicely the niche adheres to the uh, later west wall. And we also could see that the line of the plaster of the original west wall, which went like that and continued down here behind the niche, sort of. That's the, the line of the original plaster here, but once the west, original west wall was destroyed, then these bricks were pushed in this space to hold the house, obviously, and uh, the niche was built. So this is like a ridge of clay that was put uh, where the niche was going to come, and then it was built on the level of this floor, most likely. Okay, this is the end of day diary diary video for the 24th of July. And today we're um, starting actually on the platforms, going down in the platforms in space 86. New units have been assigned. Um, so the first platform that we sort of attacked or whatever is platform 173 here in the um, south, uh, sorry, the northeast corner of um, Space 86. And Laurie Hager and Barshak Boz were clearing here. They took the floor down in um, here in the uh, right against the northern edge. And it's sort of sloping down, but the main thing is that we wanted to clear this down to some kind of a floor against the northern edge so that we could define what we thought already was a second burial coming up. So by the end of today it's pretty clear. As a possible uh, another burial next to it, to its east, um, against the eastern wall, I'm not sure yet. Uh, Laura was um, drawing the west, uh, the southern and the eastern profiles of 
feature 602, the post retrieval pit. We took, um, I cleaned up the profiles, but not scraping them, just uh, making them more beautiful, of 617, feature 617, the burial pit, and photographed it, and we'll, it'll get drawn tomorrow. Pedro was drawing this whole um, area of space 158. This is um, a, another go at the drawing um, before we've actually started cleaning and excavating. Although, as we saw yesterday, um, some cleaning has already changed our views of this area. Heidi has cleaned the area above the niche and we took photographs of it and its relation to the west wall. And um, now she started to take away the, um, the top of the niche in the southern end of Space 158. Uh, we drew, a, again, this um, platform in the south, uh, southwest corner of Space 86. I think it's platform 167, I'm not sure. And um, we drew this, and now Vuk has started to take down a layer of the floor down to, the, down to a, a lower floor all around, we can see that the lower floor is um, here against the northern edge of the platform and now he's going to bring the whole area along there. That includes these two fire installations. In the southeast corner, um, Anna has been excavating especially the western side of this complicated but very late platform in um, whose number I can't remember. Maybe this is 167, the other is 169, blah, blah. Anyway, so this is um, showing the very complicated history. We did a video of this today.